Hello everyone, welcome back again to FN Engineering channel. This is video part 2 from the explanation of pressure vessel basic design part 1.3 or radial nozzles and flange calculations. Before we continue, I recommend you to watch part 1 because this video is part of the previous video. In addition, don't forget to support this channel by subscribing FN Engineering channel and like our video. Thank you. Well, we will go to the next sub part, namely other data for area calculation. First, we define the pad material. In general, pad material is the same as shell material. So, pad material use SA516 grade 70. We find a global start value from table 1A in SME section 2D. We get 138 MPa. After that, we assume some parameters such as pad thickness, for example 10 mm. Also diameter of the pad. Nozzle outside projection, for example, 182.4 mm. No inside projection. Leg well size nozzle to shell at outside projection or leg O. No weight from the nozzle to shell at inside projection. We also assume well size from reinforcement to shell and correction factor 1. In the last step, we calculate the reduction strength factor from global size data of shell, nozzles, and pads. FR1 and FR2 are a ratio between global size nozzles and global size vessels. FR3 is a smaller value of the ratio between global size nozzle and global size shell or between global size pad and global size shell. Meanwhile, FR4 is the ratio between the global size pad and global size shell. After that, we calculate the corrective condition for some parameters and limitation of the reinforcement. For corrective condition, we calculate TR or required cell thickness, T or nominal cell thickness, TRN or required nozzle thickness, TN or nominal nozzle thickness, TI or Nominal nozzle thickness at inside projection, H or nozzle inside the projection, leg I or leg well size between nozzle and shell at inside projection, D or circular opening from the outside diameter of nozzle minus two times of the nominal thickness of nozzles. TF is the effective thickness. It can be obtained from the smaller value of 2.5 times of shell thickness or 2. 0.5 times of nozzle thickness plus pad thickness. Lastly is effective diameter. It can be obtained from a larger value of 2 times of circular opening or 2 times of total sum of outside radius nozzle, nozzle thickness, and shell thickness. In the next sub part is area calculation. In this part, we have to calculate the required area and available area. For detailed equation, you can see in SME section 8 division 1, especially in visual UG 37 1. For the available area, we have to calculate some areas such as A1 or area in shell, A2 or area at outside nozzle projection, A3 or area at inside nozzle projection, A4 or area in welding connection, and A5 or area in the pad. We have to make sure that the available area is larger than the required area. You can see the value. All total available area are greater than the required area. So, 
the area is acceptable. In the next calculation, we calculate maximum allowable working pressure and maximum allowable pressure. In order to calculate MAWP and MAP, we use the equation in appendix 1, 1. We get different value for MAWP and MAP. For nozzle 6 inch, we get 9.25 MPA for MAWP and 14.1 MPA for MAP value. Meanwhile, for nozzle 4 inch, we get 18.9 MPA and 26.57 MPA. Then, for nozzle 3 inch, we get 18.44 MPA for MAWP value and 28.34 MPA for MAP value. Lastly, for nozzle 2 inch, we get 18.5 MPA and 33.31 MPA for MAWP and MAP respectively. In the last subpart of the radial nozzle, we evaluate the impact test requirement. We define impact test evaluation based on the type of material, governing thickness, and calculated minimum design metal temperature. We have to evaluate the impact test requirement at the shell, nozzle, pad and welding connection. In general, all material are classified as curve B. The governing thickness is the nominal thickness of each part. And the required minimum design metal temperature is lower than the required minimum design metal temperature 0 degrees Celsius. We can see that all nozzles shell, and pad are not required impact tests. Well, we have done calculation for radial nozzle. Then, we will calculate the flange of the vessel. For flange standard calculation, we need design pressure, design temperature, and type of material. Design pressure is 1.52 MPA. Design temperature is 65.56 degrees Celsius. We use SA105 for the material. Based on the type of material, the material group is classified as group 1-1. So, we use table 2-1-1 to calculate rating, maximum rubber blocking pressure, and maximum rubber pressure. In order to define rating, we define the temperature row in the table based on design temperature. We choose 100 degrees Celsius. Then, we see the working pressure flange to cover design pressure. We get 17.7 bar at rating 150. So, we get class 150 for the flange rating. In the next, we calculate the maximum overlocking pressure at the flange. We use the interpolation method at temperature 100 degrees Celsius and 50 degrees Celsius because the descent temperature is located between them. So, we can interpolate the working pressure at 150 degrees Celsius. We get 1.87 MPA for the maximum rubber working pressure. Lastly, we determine the maximum rubber pressure of the flange. For MAP, we use the lowest temperature at the rating to choose working pressure value. We get 1.76 MPA or 19.6 bar. Then, we calculate the impact test requirement 
for the flange. Here is the compatible feature regarding impact test evaluation. Based on this feature, the governing thickness of flange is the same as the nozzle thickness. So, the calculated maximum diameter temperature is the same as their nozzle. Based on the previous calculation, the impact test is exempted for all nozzles. Well, we have done flange calculation. Alright, we have done the calculation for radial nozzles and flange. Here are the summary calculation. For the flange, we use class 150, the type of flange will in a crash phase, maximum global working pressure is 1.87 MPa, and maximum global pressure 1.96 MPa. Meanwhile, for the nozzle, we have different values for the thickness schedule, maximum low blocking pressure, maximum low pressure, required minimum diameter temperature. All nozzles require the reinforcement pads, and an impact test is not required. For detail, you can see this table. Alright everyone, thank you for watching my video. If you have some comments or suggestion, please write on the comment column. And if you get something new from this video, please like my video, subscribe to FN Engineering channel, and turn on the notification from this channel to get updated video from FN Engineering channel. See you next time.